Oh, Hello, boys. Oh, happy National Bacon Lovers Day, guys. Wow, that didn't take long. <clears throat> no, get right, get right I'm, into it. I remember being a kid on like on National Bacon Day Eve, you know, not being able to sleep, <laughs> just wondering if how soon, like how close to the morning I can start smelling my dad making the bacon, you know? Yeah. I tell you, I got tired of that. It was the same old rind. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 mm -hmm. <laughs> Sharks are circling. I was, I was as a Jew. I always felt left out on that day. You've never oh, had bacon. Well, they, we 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 didn't celebrate. We we celebrated chopped liver day. Mm. Ah, right? yeah. Mm. And really, cleaning the chopped liver out from under the liver tree was such a mess mm. that had to be shitty yeah yeah well i would imagine that as Jew, you know most jews feel left out most of the time not just on on it's, it's really the way the religion was designed yeah. yeah you read the old testament there's a whole section about being left out being left out yeah yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. is everybody uh is everybody else jewish on this show no, I am not. Oh. Technically, I was um I'm I guess I was I was baptized Roman Catholic. Then after my mom passed, I became Protestant because that's what my dad was. Mm -hmm. And then um in my 20s I went to uh Calvary Chapel and went there for a little bit, so I guess that's Southern Baptist. I'm always on the hunt for religion, but I I do date Jewish women usually. Oh, That's how yeah. it usually ends up. Oh. Yeah. I, no, I, I, technically, I am, but I, technically, mm -hmm. check your circuits. You have a, like a membership card or something. Uh, yeah, I, I, it's hard to say. I'm, I probably have something. Yeah. Somewhere. Were you bar mitzvah? I, uh, I, I converted. Okay. Close enough. Just, after bar mitzvahs. We'll let so, you slide yeah. on that one. Yeah, I was circumcised. Yeah, me too. I, count. I was bar mitzvahed. Uh, both parents Jewish, uh, but the day after my bar mitzvah, I, I converted to atheism. So now I'm a now I'm a div devout atheist. I am as well. Yeah. But uh, but um, I don't know. I just I don't want to have to unlearn all the songs. Yeah, it sucks. I always I always wanted I'm to be Jewish. My parents were always just extra anxious. So, from what I understand, after I was circumcised, my dad gave them back, gave me back, and said, "You know, just do it again, just to be sure." <laughs> how, many, got a, how many times did they do it? Got a second opinion. <laughs> they stand by two. I say three. <laughs> <laughs> well, three is a very special number in Judaism, so that's good. It is? But same, it is, yeah. But Gosh. it's special. It's a special number in every fucking religion. It just is. You know. Ever see the movie Pi? Oh, I'm sorry. You mean it's not Catholic? Father, what? Son, Holy, got the Trinity. How much more special can wait, three be? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I thought you said you were Jewish. Hey, don't you remember when we both taught <laughs> Catholic school? <laughs> At the same, when we both taught confirmation. He taught the girls. I taught the boys. <laughs> that, that's a. That was a riot in itself. Yeah, it was. It was a riot. <laughs> uh, the Catholic teachings of Bugs Bunny. Yeah, really, yeah. <laughs> Kevin Mondello, if you're out there, you're going down to see Monk Superior after this. I'm sending you down. <laughs> yes. Stop clicking the damn pen. <laughs> <laughs> Can you I say once, damn I at Sunday said, school? I, I once did. I once did. I was a little... I don't know if hungover is the right word. <laughs> Before, a little the worse for wear. And somebody it was having a test and somebody was clicking a pen. I remember the guy who was doing it, clicking a pen. I said, please stop clicking the pen. And then he, I, he didn't do it on purpose. He was, yeah, please stop clicking the pen. And then click, click. Who is clicking that goddamn pen? <laughs> Kevin Mondello is looking at me like, I got gotcha. you. 
I got you. I can tell by the superior. Teacher said, damn. Teacher said, damn. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> it was. And I said, in class, I said, did anyone in here hear anything strange? No. Good, good, good. Kevin, you're on your own. It was a scandal. <laughs> scandal. I, I must admit, it was a scandal in St. Joe's. <laughs> St. Joe's, it sounds like a pizzeria. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't. Hey, we're going to get you closer to God by making pies. Grab that dough over there. Yeah, they, it took them a long time to assess my my quali qualifications to uh, to teach confirmation. Uh, can you make it on Saturday morning? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Not, are you Catholic? Uh, can you teach? Do you have a record molesting children? Not, not at all. Well, this, this, this was before the teachers' union made inroads into uh, C CCD. Oh, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. But them's were the days. Oh my God! Yeah, I, I, I'm still gonna fry for those. <laughs> <laughs> but I hear it's a dry heat, so I'm not that worried about it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Sucks all the moisture out. Yeah, it's you wind it's up. Saint Stephen's Day, by the way. What is that? I said it's Saint Stephen's Day, by the way. Oh, oh, oh. Ha. grateful dad for the oh, band. Stephen with a rose. Yep. And so down I saw, the garden he goes. I was trying to get my daughter to watch the jerk last night because she'd never seen it. Mm -hmm. And the, mm -hmm. the the greatest line in that movie is uh, he's hitchhiking. Uh, he's in Missouri and he's hitchhiking and a truck pulls up and, and says, St. Louis? He says, no, Nathan Johnson. <laughs> anyway, it was funny. Mm -hmm. this is, I love the jerk. A very funny movie. Yeah. You know, today's also World Mosquito Day. <laughs> wow. Which kind of sucks, but I mean, it is. Mm-hmm. Oh, let's see. What's <laughs> on that note? What's tomorrow? <laughs> How Coming do you beat soon, I hope. Day and Bacon Day on the same day. <laughs> yeah, when you think about it. I'm still working on Bacon Day here. It's, it's. Uh, I think that's pretty cool. You know, I, I've never been one of those people who love bacon too. You know? Oh, I remember. You know, buying the the. National Day of Bacon Tree, and then taking out bacon slices and de decorating it like tinsel. Yeah. yeah, that was always a favorite holiday around my house. Everybody made a pig out of themselves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Quit hogging the bacon. I'm going to keep oh, on going. No. You got until yes. I get the hook. <laughs> <laughs> no hook, no no mercy. I've got the power, but I don't want to do it. <laughs> that's that's real power. What's that? That's real power. Having puns and not using them. No, <laughs> no. Real power is is my superpower, which is I can click on any of you and remove you. Oh no! <laughs> or mute you, or I can like move you around and shit. You know. It's like oh. that. Uh, oh, you're, wow. Barry, did you ever see that Star Trek episode oh. where uh, they go to the alternate reality where? Uh, they were in the world of their opposites. Oh yeah, Spock has a little, little world with the uh, yeah. with the little TV with the button that would kill people. Yeah, yeah, that's Tom. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. You guys watch Star Trek a lot when you were younger? Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. yeah. I, remember, I hate Absolutely. to keep doing this, but you remember that the day uh, we joined the Star Trek club. <laughs> It's, it's I want to hear about do you that. Remember, do you remember going up to? to There's to nothing something? to hear. We joined the Star Trek club. We showed up. We looked around and said, "Screw this." Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was also on a Saturday, and I think uh, I don't know if hungover was the right word. Either. <laughs> now this <laughs> is like, walking around. It's like now I know why Groucho Marx said I will never join a club that would have me as a member. Yeah. Right. This was so, before the movies got started. So you guys yeah. are hardcore. Oh, yeah. We were cutting-edge geeks. Yeah. We <laughs> the late-night hours of, like, taping your fingers together to late try to get them, them to move. <laughs> you know? Yeah. 
Yeah. Making the wax ears yourself. Mm-hmm. It was even harder to do the shark that uh, Steve Martin used to do. Mm. Oh, the shark bites. Mm. With his teeth. Well, you have to trust me on that. Yeah, it's, we don't have to trust you. Huh. Golly. Them's with the days, right? What about now? Are these yeah, the days? What, a, what about it? What these about are, now? These are the days tomorrow. Huh. You guys ever join a stupid club and uh, wish you hadn't? Other than Doghouse Theater? <laughs> I uh, joined. I was in the Boy Scouts. Looking back on it, though, I wish I hadn't looked at it like it was below me. I would have liked to have finished. You know? You didn't graduate? I, I, went, uh, I went up to Life Scout, and I didn't go to Eagle. And um. I could have just, just finished and got, done the work. And I have a big belief that that set me on a on a track where if stuff was too hard, I'd be like, "Yeah, I'll just do something else." <laughs> yeah. I, I was a Cub, I was a Cub Scout, Scout, so if you well, you always yeah. I made it as far as Weebelo. <laughs> <laughs> they just my parent wouldn't flip my pin over, and I couldn't move on. <laughs> yeah. I remember I was in the Tiger Cubs. That was even below Boy Scouts. That oh, was Cub like, Scouts. I, Cub, I was in the Cubs. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. In in Brooklyn, so you got a, a badge for pitching pennies. I think it was just really really cool. Yeah, when, I, when I was in the Bronx, I was in that Jewish motorcycle gang, the Oi Vagrants. Nice. Mm-hmm. I was the motorcycle was, would start up and be like. <laughs> I always just tried to kind of be quiet at school, just kind of keep to myself. Well, I was thinking that if you were into Star Trek, most of those kids are usually quiet because they're more intelligent and then the AP classes. But well, I mean, it's no. important to be quiet in school. I don't know what good it does. To, to I never figured school. out quite how, though. I was such a maniac. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, you know what? What? I think I can help with that. Yay! What? Yeah, I can push a button and help with that. Because <laughs> I have How? that superpower. I Time have the superpower. Go get him, Scott. I've got the power! <laughs> okay. Hope we don't get sued by CNC Music Factory. You know they need the money. Hello. Oh, let's go back. So, yeah, there we are. How quiet helps at school. <laughs> Shut up! Just shut up! <laughs> Stop clicking that goddamn pen! <laughs> you ever walk through the hall at school when the other children God were in it. their rooms? Did you ever listen to the sounds that come from the rooms? No. Some rooms sound like this. What's happening inside? Sounds like fun. It looks as if everyone is busy at work. But it's so noisy. What makes the room so noisy? Air conditioning? No, no, it's the 40s. <laughs> Her? Children don't it's Ann Ramsey, everybody. Throw mama from the train as a kid. Sometimes yeah. children drop things on the floor. <laughs> They call across the room and talk out loud. Daddy, Daddy. Hey! Can I use a gold crayon? Sure. Yeah. No. You still want to? Yeah. It's hard to think about your own work in such a noisy room. You couldn't learn there. very much yeah, here. That's right, Daddy. Well, where did you leave off there? I left off first. Um, and you couldn't be uh, proud to be part of such a noisy room, could you? No. Even the shirts in the rooms in school sound like this. <laughs> Let's visit another room. Please, God, yes, can Listen, we? This is the school morgue. It's Board so of 101. Aren't there Welcome any children to Mortician in this room? 101. The children are all in the lockers. Oh, there are children here, and they're all busy too. <laughs> and Welcome then to the he says, "School for the deaf." Noises, just <laughs> the sounds of working. We call these work sounds. <laughs> Listen, 
Oh. Oh. Wait a minute. Let me write it. The sounds of working are called work sounds. Now tomorrow, bring me something out of your mom's jewelry box, okay, kids? <laughs> Dear Satan. Who the hell's scratching that pencil on the paper? <laughs> Judy, stop breathing. Those girls look like they're leaving for the Overlook Hotel after class. <laughs> Why do you suppose this rule is <laughs> advice? <laughs> Perhaps we can learn from the teacher, Miss Bradley. Oh, now I could drink. Well, I think it's because each of us helps to keep the room quiet when we're working. Oh. But we're not quiet all the time. No. You're not? No. We know there are times and places to be quiet, and other times and places when we can make noise if we want to. Oh. For example, when we play, we make all the noise we want. Sometimes Shut up, making kids. Making a lot of noise is a part of the fun of the game. But when we go to the library, we are very quiet. I like quiet because swings. Because we know it's the room where we read to ourselves. When we watch movies, yeah. we are careful not to make too much noise. And this That's is JFK true. in that Dallas. That way we can hear and learn more. His head snapped you know, to the back. We have found that knowing when to be quiet is a part of growing up. Are you going to start Offices the movie? where people work are busy but quiet. We were watching this movie. And that movie. is the way we keep <laughs> our room. Because a quiet room helps all of us learn. How do you do it? Well, each of us knows how to work quietly. That's very important. Will you show us? Of course. <laughs> Boys and girls, okay. how would you like to show some of the ways we know of being quiet? <laughs> well, while we pretend to be working, okay. Timmy, get the like shop collar. How we work quietly <laughs> at our desk. Bobby? A nice Zee uh, Hile. Zee Hile, yeah. Now, why is yeah, Bobby that was a little close. Desk? We told you not to oh, wave like now that. Now there won't be anything to fall off and make noise. You keep on your desk only things you need. That's part of keeping the room quiet. Let's see, pencil. Okay, oh, here's the point broke. I heard that. He'll have to sharpen the pencil. Can he move quietly so he doesn't disturb anyone? <laughs> this is when she, like, belts him. She's all into capital punishment. You didn't ask to get up. Do you think you could walk this quietly? <laughs> Listen to this work sound. Wow. When he turns it slowly, it doesn't bother anyone. Work sounds tell that you're busy. The drop in the they don't disturb others. But June seems to have lost something. <laughs> Hey, oh, June. Look, an eraser. Whose do you think it is? Bobby won't talk to June, will he? Yes, it is my eraser, Bobby. Oh, I was hoping you'd oh. say that. Thanks Whispering for getting in my face. Way to talk Would you like to go for coffee later? <laughs> well, Bobby has moved about quite a bit without disturbing the class. Right. Could you do yep. all that yep. as quietly church as Bobby did? AK-47 by the end of the school year. Now let's <laughs> suppose Bobby wanted to get something from the cabinet. It's still three o'clock. How would you do it quietly, Bobby? <laughs> Sing aisle. Yeah, I'll show you quiet. There we go. Walks over to the cabinet. My Kisses dad's the teacher. Kill you. <laughs> Same left foot, right foot. I'm starting to think he's the guy that killed the guy in Colombo last night. Get me out of this closet! Bobby certainly knows the quiet way of working by himself, he doesn't he? does. Well, of course, all of us have to, if our room is to be a good place to work. Yeah, we can't now, afford a clock, Bobby so we have to draw one some on of the, the ways of working quietly board. by ourselves. Who would like to show how we work quietly in a reading group? We want six for it. All right, oh, you, Alice Cooper, show us. Be noisy. What happened to Adolf? Well, 
There is a quiet way to move chairs, isn't there? Oh, for God's sake. Some folks call there it There wasn't fashion. much noise at all. No one was disturbed. They're all writing in their journals. Everybody keeps shifting and moving and sharpening a pencil. And look, they all have their books with them. Now they can get started without having to wait for any children to get ready. Did each of you bring a ring or a watch from your parents' house? We'll read a day at the fair on page 24. Let's read the first paragraph silently. Silently. To find out who's going to the fair. Okay. All the children are quiet while they read, aren't they? Because the books are in Swahili. Who can tell us who is going to the fair? Philip. You are Emperor Jaji. That's right. See how no one else talks when someone is speaking? No. It's fun to work together that way. Do you Why think doesn't you she could stand work up together when she that talks? Well? <laughs> Thank you. Now we're going there to she show goes. you how we work quietly together in another way. Oh, no. Who There's other places where you can be quiet. Ma'am, we need you to come to the police station. We all found right, some methamphetamine ahead. in your desk. Now you return to your desk. And we'll all pretend again. That How will the children work, work quietly here? What in the world? They speak very quietly. When so one this is like a farming school? Listen. That's polite. Yeah. They stay near the table. They are not bothering children working nearby. Boy. And see how well they work together and do things together? Mm. See how repressed well, they are? It's still Have 3 o'clock. Oh, the last thing. The photos from our dear leaders. Fun, such as play <laughs> periods. And times for quiet and work, such as the library or our classroom. Mm. And we saw some ways of working quietly. You but remember how Bobby showed us ways to work quietly by yourself. I'm always by and myself. And how we talk together quietly when we read or tell Just put stories. The, put the chair down. Put the chair and how down. we work together quietly when we work Ow, in my groups. ears. Those are some of the important ways we help keep our room quiet. Thank you, children. What a self-satisfied, smug little bitch I am. You can see how quiet helps us, can't you? Yeah, yeah. Hi, you. Thank you, Miss Bradley. I've got a couple of jobs. This is a good room, isn't it? Advice, honey. A good room to work in, to learn in. Do you know it's some things minutes. you can do to help make your room a quiet place for work? If you knew, shut up about it. Brought to you by the Democratic people of North Korea. <laughs> Putting the fun in Kim Jong Fun. Well, I'm glad I didn't go to that school, but I hated school growing up. Did you, Alex? Mm -hmm. you, gotta, you gotta raise your hand before you. Oh, yeah, that was not informative. <laughs> It just, uh, yeah. it just was not. I, I found that very frustrating. Oh, yeah. I was fascinated how one person on camera could suck everything out of a room as they're narrating something, you know, mm -hmm. as she's talking. And that teacher just did a perfect job of that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It was, uh, was quite the exhibition. Yeah. I'm... Uh... I'm sorry that uh, you asked about quiet in school, Barry. I, I am too. I didn't want to have to show anybody that. But, uh, <laughs> maybe it wouldn't take its own advice. Maybe, maybe next time you'll think about everybody else and be on your best behavior. <laughs> yeah. Instead of being curious about shit and asking people shit. <coughs> Someone who I think went to that school. Oh. Hey, Belinda. <laughs> Linda, what were your uh, some of your tips for uh, quietness? Don't look at me. I don't... You're, no, yeah, you. Well, Linda, you have to speak up just a little bit. A little bit more. A little bit. Just a little. 
She's just smelling my ear. She doesn't want really anything to say. Well, oh, wow. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Hey, Marty. Marty. Ah, ah. Cool. I uh, saw the video of the school. Did you? Yeah. What'd you think? I thought I was a little too lenient. Mm. And nobody had, nobody was strapped in. People, kids fall. Kids fall yeah. a lot. Yeah. I see. Yeah, well, that makes a lot of sense. I think that's kind of what Belinda was, was thinking. Huh? Yeah. Uh -oh. oh, hey, Kyle. I'm surrounded. How you doing? How you doing, Kyle? Yeah, he's... Uh, you recovered from the peanuts? Yeah, no. he's... Uh, oh, okay. But wait a minute. We won't talk about that. Belinda, how you been? What you, uh, you, you guys okay? Yeah, cool. Yeah. Um, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. You're new here. <laughs> wow. Wow. I was just thinking maybe I could step up to you a bit. And... Wow, that's... Looks like a sock. It, it does look like a sock. Steve, did she just come off of one of your feet? What are you talking about? Yeah, that's so good. Look at Kyle. Yes, we know you have socks, Kyle. We know you have socks, too. You've got your own puppet sock, too. It's shoes for industry, I'll tell you. Yeah. Uh. Wow. Well, no. Yeah. That was the extent uh, of my puppeting. Yeah. <laughs> You're late to the party, buddy. Nothing really to say or nothing to contribute. <laughs> okay. Sayonara, buddy. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, was, that was a good version. Got to choke hold these suckers every once in a while. Show them who's boss. Oh, the last thing you need is a puppet that's just going to get all in your face about shit. Yeah, an uppity puppet. <laughs> <laughs> it's the uppity puppet show. <laughs> Nothing worse than a puppet in your grill. <laughs> uh, well, we have... we have The magic uh, wand. This is for relaxation techniques. Is it? Yes. You're so uh, relaxed, you yeah. disappeared. Oh, there you are. Yeah. I'm a shark. I, <laughs> I, I give up waving anything around in here. And I mean anything. <laughs> Good. Because <laughs> we were going to say, this doesn't work on that. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that, uh, that, uh, quiet classroom just sucked the life out of this. <laughs> so, it, so what's everybody did. doing next week? <laughs> Well, uh, is it that time already? Yeah, no. It seems like it. We've got more. We got more stuff in, oh. in, the, old, uh, in the old basket. This is like Sabado Domingo. Saturday, Sunday. The variety show. Ah. Isn't there a Sabado Domingo extravaganza that's like been on in Spanish? Oh, Sabado Gigante. Oh. Oh yeah, Sabado Gigante. Sabado Domingo. Sabado Domingo is like Saturday and Sunday, Saturday, right? Saturday, yeah. <laughs> Saturday Gigante. Pa 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 pa. Muy muy bueno, Alex Gigante. Yes. You did not know that I was bilingual, did you? Sabado Gigante. Did you hear about the 78 pilot whales that were slaughtered going near a cruise ship carrying 78 marine conservationists? What is that? What Say it again. 78 pilot whales that were slaughtered near a cruise ship carrying marine conservationists. Wow. Wow. No, now, I that, didn't hear that, about that. That happened back in July on, the, on Ambassador cruise, cruise Lines. 
That's just one. Of those, it's one of those ironic things, you know. Was yeah. there something on the cruise, like a chemical or something that? What was were the whales being... wearing? I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't Maybe know. Maybe they were asking for it. I, I don't mm. know. All I know is that that that. You know, a lot of people, a lot of stuff happens on cruises you never hear about. Yeah. What what happens? What happens in the, in the cabin stays in the cabin. Yeah. yeah. That's bad to do that to pilot whales. Yeah, it is. It is. They spent all those years getting their license. Yeah. Did. Yeah. That's interesting, though. Did they crash? Yeah, I, I just figured I did. <laughs> Alex, I really had my hopes up there for a second. I know. I just, I just, I just nothing. <laughs> talk, nothing. Talk about a story that just rolls in the cheer. Of course, you know, three million anchovies were killed last year, but <laughs> nobody cares about them because they're only that big. Yeah. I mean, it's just as much of a tragedy. You Is know? it? <laughs> Well, not for pizza lovers. <laughs> you, you know that, did you know an 11 year old boy? Yeah, they did Oklahoma, once. I in did. Oklahoma, <laughs> caught a fish in a pond with human like teeth. So he, he just minute. went like that. He yeah, had human like teeth. Yeah, turned, out, turned out to be his sister. Yeah. Well, that might. He caught a fish with human like teeth. Why didn't he just use a, a pole and a, and a hook? <laughs> exactly. No, yeah. The fish had human life. Oh, oh. Yeah, I need grand, past I need grandpa's that. dancers. I'm going fishing. Where are they, Ma? The dangers of punctuation. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Talk about inbreeding. Dude, I've been out to Oklahoma. Wait, and, wow. and like on their lakes oh. and stuff and fishing. Have you? And, and have like, you? Yeah. Oh, that's right. You went to Calvary Chapel, so of course they said. <laughs> but water moccasins and shit would all swim on the waters as you're fishing you'd have to like throw rocks at them to get them out of your like to get them away from you it's they're aggressive cool. snakes it's like sign it's me, not up. Fun. No. Sign they're me pretty, up they're also pretty deadly aren't they yes they are yeah yep let me when you're not wearing them yeah i bought a pair of water moccasins when i went rafting a few months ago mm. yeah. boy i almost died <laughs> sorry barry i ruined that for you that's all right Steve, I like when you when you wear your green makeup. Oh, there you go. Well, you know, we don't have to worry about rafting because uh, we've got something better coming up. Oh, good we've got tell. we've got a movie. We got a Will Rogers movie, and uh, we're going to be providing the, uh, the audio for it. Uh, but it's a steamboat oh. movie. It's a steamboat movie. Um. So I don't know how much rafting they're going to be doing. And I don't know if any water moccasins were killed during the making of the movie. Mm. But, um, yeah. Are you ready for, for our, for our, uh, <laughs> Absolutely. 2011, for our, our read my lips moment here? Um, uh, let's, let's do it. Hey, shall yeah, we? let's do it. What the hell? Shut up. Tom. <laughs> okay, there it is. And there we go. There. The steamboat around the band. And we got the main steamboat and it's moving on down the Mississippi. 1992. Hey, does anybody know how to steer this thing? Listen to me. I will spread you across America. Hog to man. This movie looks familiar. You, young sir. Would me? No, you. I think he meant you. I pointed at you. No, he, he said the guy with the hat and the bad clothing. Please look at me and vote me in for your number one librarian in Cooter County. <laughs> now I not only brought you Kentucky Fried Chicken from Oklahoma, but I bring you truth. <laughs> hey, I vote. You, you get my vote, Pops. You, had, you didn't say you had bourbon? <laughs> No, get it away from me. I'm a Scotch man. 
You don't sound hey. like a Scotchman. Here you go, Lincoln. I don't need any. I, uh, I just after... uh, was wondering where you get your clothes from. I... Oh, I got them at the Blue Oyster Club down in the town. Okay. I swear to... <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. And right there is a picture of Aunt Jemima. This is the best syrup that will be on any pancake. I tip my hat to that. And I'll tell you another thing. This is not a picture of Aunt Jemima. This is a picture of Pocahontas. Uh -huh. Who looks like Aunt Jemima. Either way, it's still sticky. Goes on a pancake. It's good syrup, folks. Did they have pancakes back then? Flapjacks? Flapjacks. Pull a rabbit out of your hat! What the hell is you talking about? When Say something funny! I just... Uh, Get off the stage! You, sir. You look like a man who needs cattle. <laughs> I could really use some cattle. You got any? Well... I got a no, I, cattle in a bottle here for you. I, I got cat. Uh, this will make you feel like you drink cattle. I look, okay. look at this man. Now, tell me, truly, you're a dumb man, aren't you? Yes, I am. I am so good. He's a dumb dumb. man, folks. He's so dumb. You can't read, can you? Can you read? Uh, I don't know if I can even read. But can you read that? Uh, um, he, uh, drink me. No, no, it doesn't say that. We're going to rip that tree right out of the ground. Hello, Moses Lincoln. Have you seen my brother Abe? Didn't I just have a a different color beard? Oh, I got to talk to the lady in the props department. Sir, I, I came all the way from New York City to follow you. I heard your message on that riverboat, and I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm all right. Ready. All right. It's Sunday. Where can we get a good old Monte Cristo sandwich? I don't know if I want a Monte Cristo, but I'll take grilled cheese. Elvis, sit there. All right, all right, yeah. That's a terrible Elvis impression. But here you have Elaine from Cheers, and you have a... I mean, not, <laughs> not Elaine, but what's her face? I don't know. Oh, um... But, what, what, why are you is, standing there? Why don't you sit down and serve somebody or do some shit or... Why, why, why are you dressed like that? I mean, it's always you, sir. You always think you're better than me because you look like Captain Crunch cereal, but you don't have the hat. Sit your ass down, sister. Or, mm -hmm. I never was spoken to like that before. You're going to be big, Elvis. I'm big now, baby. Yeah, you two will never get off the reservation. I'll be working here at Friendly's forever. Let's come back to my cabin. I'll show you the Wagoota. I'll go, but not because I want to go, but because I live in the kind of country where I'm free to go. And shut oh, up. Yeah. I got yeah, a big up. speech and you're screwing it up. Just I shut up, well. you, don't, you don't want to say no to me. I'm the king. <laughs> come on. Back to my cabin and crown me. Your lips were moving for such a long time and nothing was coming out. <laughs> I, I thought this is the man for me. Just trying to think of something to say. What? This you know I like bread. I just rip it off the bread. Put some jelly on there. Hey, I didn't dip my dime. Ah! Ah! What are you doing? But just because I tipped you 10% instead of 15? Last Read the bottom of the Denny's. <laughs> well, she's tough. But after you tried to kill me, I just suddenly realized how hot your ass is. 
Do you really think that? I mean, uh oh. Serious. She's a witch. <laughs> How do you know she's, she's a witch? She's a girl. What's she doing in this town? Come on. You all broke in here. Now say something. <laughs> You're coming with me. Somebody <laughs> ate my porridge, goddammit. And I'm going to figure it out. I never ate your porridge. I went in. Yours was too hot. Yours was too cold. Yours I was going to think was just right, but it had a hair in it. So I never ate it. <laughs> all oh right. God. Well, this is the first time anyone's ever bought me a uh, dress that looks like it should be worn to a, a costume party. I'm and not. I don't know how to Albanian say this, but I don't in the whorehouse. <laughs> oh, I love you. I'm not an, an Albanian whore, so I don't know why I'm wearing an Albanian whorehouse dress. Let me see I was if gonna... we have a. If we have something, I don't know, Croatian here. Oh, I've got oh. an accessory. It's a monkey with two symbols. They'll love it. God, you're making me walk through this whole town. Shame! Ding, ding! Shame! <laughs> and then a mighty wind came along, and she was never invented the parachute. You know, if you were six feet taller, you'd be perfect to be my umbrella. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you were tall... No, never mind. You, you always know what to talk about on long walks. Oh, I saw a skunk the other day. Yeah, I don't really remember. Let's see. Uh, I'm thinking white. There we go. Yeah. Uh, uh, Okay, uh, let me see about that. Oh, he's all yeah, clean your right out. It worked. It worked. <laughs> Some one day someone's gonna say, Jackson Pollock, we never really understood you. <laughs> They're gonna remember the name Banksy. <laughs> Hello. Are you open? Yeah, but you get five minutes and you can only look at my boobs. And which one of us is in jail again? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've been in jail my whole life, Elvis. I Wish I could just reach through those bars. Oh wait, I could reach through the but bars. But you can You're doing it. You can reach through these bars. Sorry, can... Albert. Glory hold closed. Look what happened the last time I tried reaching through the bars. Yeah, oh, bitch. That's the popcorn burn from the movies. That was our first date. Yeah, I'll never forget it. You called me Sharon. I was so gentle, and you were a horse. Oh, I hope he comes back with maybe a truck. and. Here oh, you could take that saw, and you could saw through these iron bars, Elvis. No, I figured I'll just play the saw. Why do I need to <laughs> but saw my could, way out of the jail? You could saw your way out of jail, and then we could be together and free. Why, why are you just playing a saw? That's not how you use a saw. Don't tell me. I'm the king. Hey, that man's uh, fucking the hell's going on. Yeah. They've had me ever since Thursday, and I don't even know why. Why are we all uh, locked up in the in the a broom closet here? This is a song I like to call Jailhouse Shanty. <laughs> That's the best saw I ever seen, or scene I ever oh. saw. Those see, edges are so sharp, see, they cut. I want a, a seesaw. See, see the sensational oh. seesaw. Hey! Come hey. see the sensational wonder whale. We have word there's going to be 71 pilot whales out there. It's going to be the best cruise ever. <laughs> <laughs> I better get me a pilot whale. That's what I want. I want myself a pilot whale, too. I swear, Frank I'm getting on that group. I'm getting on that group. I'm sorry, Barry. 
Okay, here's here's the deal. One Snickers bar per person. One, okay? Don't trade your Snickers bar for anything else. All right, all right. So I could take my Snickers bar and I can trade it for this giant cask. Is it's that right? Door number one. All right. Well, that's supposed to be a whale. Now. Anyone can guess how many heard, jelly beans are in this thing? I heard if you open it up, you can find a pearl. That's a big fish, Willie. It's the same kind of fish that ate Pinocchio. <laughs> yeah, it's a. You gotta put air in it. It's a blowfish. Get it? <laughs> it's a. It's a blow. I gotta use. They're gonna open fish. the mouth. They're gonna open the mouth, and somebody's gonna be sleeping in it. Jonah, get out of here, Jonah. We're getting married. I'm married. Oh, my... congratulations! I'm marrying my father. Well, I think that's the best thing ever. I, I plan to be sheriff of this town. Hey, you haven't seen them Duke boys, have you? Well, I think I can make an honest woman out of her, and we got our eyes on some new cereal. I don't know, the cereal game is a mean game. What do you mean? You just throw berries and sugar on it? We know what to do. I'm Captain Crunch. Oh my god. That's I'm going in there. I'm going in. Said, but blind. first, I have to pee. Okay. Well, you'll be able to go number two in a minute. Just let me get this dress undone. Sweetheart, you look just like your, your little sister, except she's fat and ugly, and you're skinny and pretty. Well, uh, what I got here's, here is... Sorry. <laughs> you touch this thing, and... Uh, Snake, snakes pop out. It's really fun. It's a. Oh, I brought the wrong one. Shit. This is the actual Bible. Wait, it's a Sears catalog. Oh, the hickory stick. I'll be needing that later. Yeah, uh, it's the fat kid. Yeah, hey, fat kid. Okay, Please, push me down up. the stairs for luck, ma. She looks like she's 12. Your sister, she's looking for more hot dogs. Oh, shit. Or bacon. Well, Elvis looks real happy about this. Elvis, do you take this woman? I should have been to I do, I do. <laughs> and further, you swear that if you do see the Duke boys in anywhere in Hazard County, you come get me, Boss Hog, see? I can't believe he's doing the Boss Hog speech on my wedding. How am I going to get out of this? You promise to stay off of his blue suede shoes? This is the most solemn moment of my life. This is the longest wedding in history. You may now kiss the corsage. Blink, 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 blink. Meanwhile, on the Titanic. I think I saw an iceberg ahead. Throw that rosebud sled in there. Iceberg? There's no Jews in this area. <laughs> oh, oh. Look, Pa. <laughs> let's hit him. Yeah, move him yeah, over. Let's hit him.
No, slow down. God does not want you to float. I caught no, me. Oh, no. <laughs> Keel <laughs> Hall. <laughs> the first ever water skiing preacher. <laughs> <laughs> Moses, Moses, water skiing, just doing stunts and shit. <laughs> Let's Holy chop up. Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit! Look at that! Holy shit! Holy hey, shit! You gotta slow down! You gotta slow down! You got Moses behind you. Mo. Ah. Uh. I think we ought to slow down. He says so we got roses behind us. Whoa! Who threw the fire water in the fire? Here we go. This thing's going to do a really... Yeah. They're putting fire out with alcohol. Yeah. Hey, why don't we just drink this? Here's a chaser. Oh, I've had time to put my, my jacket on. That's good. And my hat. And now the guy's on the other side of me. Hey! <laughs> That's Happy, the fire hour. Hour. Happy yeah. hour! Your ship is on fire! Your What'd he say? I think he said they're near. <laughs> what we got here? Yeah, just keep throwing anything in the fire. Because I'm a scamp. <laughs> now go to the Mississippi boat races as the steamboat springs is round the bend. Here it comes. <laughs> As official dog owners in this town, we'd like to give you our own giant cup. Oh. Oh, Ricky. Oh, Lucy. No, Lucy, you can't come to the club. You already have a job. You're a mother. We oh, yeah. have Wow. <laughs> Well, we, we sure did that to death. <laughs> Seems like I've seen that movie before. Yes, we have, haven't we? Oh, it's been years. What do you expect me to do? Download new ones? <laughs> 50 of those freaking things? For, for the imprisoned audience? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think you said the same things this time that we said the last time. So I, think still right. I don't think so either. I have one I want to send you, but it's it's newer. There's a Spanish, I think Spanish uh, Narcos type show. Mm -hmm. And one time I was watching it without the audio on, and I was like, this would be hilarious to like redo all okay, the scenes because they're very dramatic shots and stuff. So I'll look up on my hard drive. Yeah, yeah. So I I would download them and chop them into pieces and glue the pieces together. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, you know, I did a porno once. That would be funny. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna show a whole movie. So, so it's oh all... no, of course. Yeah, you chop it down to the length that you want to use it for. Yeah. And yeah, we got other stuff too. We have uh, old kung fu movies and stuff. Lots <laughs> of sci-fi. Sci <sighs> so, what do you got going next week? Work it's tough doing this without it. Mr. Lee, you know. You know, he's the glue. He is. Mm -hmm. Has he started doing his uh, shows yet, or is he? Uh... I don't know. It's hard to get uh, an answer out of him. I just saw him last night. Yeah, last night. Yeah. But he, he, he keeps saying he's gonna, but he doesn't. He's, he he's a busy be... man. Well, he has kids now, right? Couple kids. Well, yeah, kids before, but he, he's a busy man. He's got uh, a lot of irons and a lot of popcorn in the fire. Ah, we should make a designated Mister Lee area in the green room, 
so that like when he's there for Saturday nights, so, you know, somebody could bring in a snack and just be like, boom, here, grab it, turn it on <laughs> <laughs> and just force them to do it. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. <sighs> I don't have any plans it. next week yet. We have a green Sorry. room. Mm-hmm. Where is that? Not, not it? us. Oh, oh. No. I'm, oh, okay. well, there. Let's there. All the rooms in this place. Yeah. Is it indeed green? No. It is not. I've, Funny, been a lot, I've been in a lot of green rooms that weren't. I've never been in a green room that was green. But Why do they call them green rooms? Because they were originally green. Because that's where, where, the the money, where the money goes. Yeah. You Don't know, know, talent. Don't know. Hmm. Don't know why they call them green rooms. Let's uh, save that for a conversation stopper. Steve finds out why they call them green rooms. All right. I'm serious. I'll look. So, so you got nothing coming up. What about you, Barry? Are you, yeah, you're, I don't know. you're working on a bit? Uh, maybe. Uh, yeah. Maybe do some, okay. some open mics this week. We'll see. Okay. I won't be in Puerto Rico this week. I thought you were going to be in Puerto Rico this week. I was there last week. Last week, I keep forgetting when the weeks are. Yeah, yeah. Like so, last week is what happened already, and next week didn't happen yet. Um, let me get back to you on that. I'll have to look that up. Yeah, I think Wikipedia. So, Wikipedia. When is, so then, when is this week? I don't. No. I don't want to, don't even want to go there. Really? Well, is it this week or next week? I always have that argument with people. Last week. Yeah, I'll see you this Wednesday. Oh, next Wednesday? No, next Wednesday is next Wednesday. This coming Wednesday is this Wednesday. Oh, next Wednesday. No, no. It's true that it's the next Wednesday that happens, but it's not next Wednesday. It's this Wednesday. Because if it wasn't this Wednesday, that would mean that this Wednesday and next Wednesday were the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Thanking you your time this time until the next time. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's I'm why I still go by moon by lunar cycles. I'm like, I'll see you yeah. in three moons. And I, well, I use the I use the metric system, so I'm totally lost. Uh, I'll see you this meter, not next meter. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks, the guys. Sun. There you go. He is a. What was that? I didn't hear what you said. That's what I thought you said. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>